God damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Motherfucking goddamn motherfucker. I thought I'd be able to stay off my bullshit for a little while. Okay. So, uh, there's no easy way to say this, and I'm just gonna come out and say it. Steven Crowder wants black people to die. This isn't a surprise to you at all if you're familiar with Crowder's content. Steven Crowder is famous for wanting gay people to die, for wanting trans people to die, and for wanting immigrants to die. But the situation we're looking at now is at least a little bit different, and I feel like I need to explain why. Just so we're all on the same page, what happened is Steven Crowder decided to film, edit, and upload a video to his channel where him and a friend perform a, a mock version of the incident that killed George Floyd. And when I say incident, I mean the time that an officer named Derek Chauvin stood on his neck for nine minutes. That's what they did. Except they didn't, not exactly. Uh, for one thing, Crowder's friend does not weigh as much as Derek Chauvin weighed in full body armor. But for another thing, Crowder couldn't take the heat. A position I need to note I am not admonishing him for, because as odious as Stephen Crowder is, I don't want him to suffocate to death. There's a video, I'm not gonna link it, I would implore you not to seek it out, because that's not the point. The point of Crowder's video is to give reasonable, plausible deniability to people who want to defend Derek Chauvin, and people who want to defend similar incidents of police brutality. And that is going to get people killed. It is especially going to get black people killed. And I am sure beyond any shadow of a doubt that Steven Crowder knows that. Therefore, the only reasonable conclusion that we can draw is that Steven Crowder wants black people killed. Who'd have thunk? The virulent racist wants black people dead. Color me surprised. I have an entire script on Steven Crowder and his bullshit. That's probably one of the first things I'm going to film when I get my computer over here. It's a time-consuming process. But suffice it to say that the problem is not just with Steven Crowder. It is with YouTube and their continued permittance of this kind of behavior on the part of not just Stephen Crowder, but him most obviously. In fairness to YouTube, they have taken steps to remove certain white nationalists from their platform in the past. In the interest of providing context to that statement, they only did so after a series of white nationalist attacks, up to and including the fascist terrorist insurrection that occurred on July 6th. YouTube does not care about morals, and they do not care about the public good. The continued existence of people like Steven Crowder on their website proves that. What YouTube, what Google, what Alphabet cares about more than anything else is profit. So if you want to spook Google, then you need to eat into their profits. And this gives us an opportunity to do just that. Because here's the thing about Steven Crowder's YouTube videos. They run his ads on other videos. That means that not only is YouTube allowing people to make a profit off of hate speech on their platform, it also means that YouTube is making a profit off of that same hate speech. That also means this hate speech could be running in front of anyone's channel. In front of yours, in front of mine. And all we have to do is make some people aware of that problem, have those people kick up a nut of a ruckus about it, and something will happen. So, the plan of attack is simple. Instead of going after Crowder specifically, or YouTube broadly, we go after the corporations who advertise on YouTube. Use the tag Steven Crowder Hate Speech to let companies know that Steven Crowder's hate speech is in front of their videos. Message companies like Viacom, NBC, ABC, HBO, and let them know that this is something that's happening. If we make enough noise, if we kick up enough dust, then YouTube might decide to do something definitive about Steven Crowder and all of his bullshit. Maybe. It's never definitive. Like I said, YouTube does not care about morals or the public good. But I feel like it's a better idea than banging our head against the wall for the next four weeks. Don't you? Try something different. So yeah, that's all I had to say for today. I am all sayed out. Uh, still need to move all my computer stuff over here, but uh, if I do, then probably one of the first videos I'm going to make is a lengthy video about Steven Crowder 
and exactly why it is that YouTube refuses to remove him from their platform. And it's both what you think and not what you think. Uh, other than that, I've got nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's everything. So, until we get there, go out and do something important, and take care of yourselves, alright?